Hello. <laughs> so we had our baby. We're full on parents now. It's pretty major, huh? I'm a full on mom. A lot of you guys have been asking us to talk about our labor experience. It's fine, honey. She's okay. Okay. She's okay. So everyone's asking us to talk about our labor story and the whole experience. So she was born on the 7th. Three days prior to that, I started having mild contractions. They were a bit stronger than the Braxton Hicks ones, but they weren't so painful that I knew it was active labor. And they were all only at night, so they stopped throughout the day. After those three nights, we had a midwife appointment, and we went in, we just talked to her, caught up on everything, I let her know what had happened the past three days. We decided that we wanted to check how much, whether I was dilated at all, so that we could tell his mom and sister when to come out because we wanted them to be in the room while I gave birth. Yeah, and also I had a job in New York on Friday. Friday, and I was just nervous, kind of freaking out. I didn't want to go unless she was here. I, would, I wouldn't forgive myself if I missed a birth, but I had a weird feeling she would get here before the job. And then I guessed the day she was going to be born. I said the seventh. I and then you. What, it was like, so weird because it was two days away. So he was like, "She'll be here on the seventh. and I was like, "Babe, that's literally in two days. I don't think that's going to happen." But he was like, "Just, just wait and see." And it happened. And then I was like, "Is that your final guess on when she'll be here?" And he was like, "Yep, yeah, pretty confident." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> At the midwife appointment, we found out that we were already three centimeters dilated. Yeah, and I was really shocked. You were, I thought you were maybe one, or not even, you know what I mean? I had no yeah. clue. But we just wanted to check, and yeah, we were three centimeters dilated, which is crazy. Because also we just entered our 37th week. It wasn't like mm -hmm. she was due any minute now. The midwife also did a little membrane sweep. On the way back, we called Lucky's mom and sister and we told them to get in the car because we're starting to dilate. But also our midwife said that Rumble could be here on, oh, also her name's Rumble, honey. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> could be here that same day or in a week because everyone's labor experience is different and every everyone's body is different. But we were like, we just wanted them out here just in case because they do yeah. live in Utah. So it's a 10, 10 hour road trip. So we called them up. We were like, this is what's happening. I would get in the car. His mom started freaking out. <laughs> Yeah, because they were moving, they moved from Arizona to Utah. Past couple weeks, there was so much going on in my mom and dad's life. Her hearing that she had to drive down today just freaked her out. There was boxes all around her from moving and stuff, so she just wasn't ready. She was kind of freaking out, but I was really pushing her to get in the car because she was saying, oh, well, you could be three weeks like this or two weeks or one week, so yeah. who knows, but we pushed for them to come out. And so they started, they left like two or three hours later, they had to pack and do some stuff. Yeah, they left around 2 p.m., right? Yeah. We got home from the midwife. I was kind of more chill. I was really excited, but I was like, I don't really think she's gonna come tonight. So let's just take it easy, but like get stuff done. And like, I was like, no, let's get all the stuff done that we need to get done just in case she comes tonight. Cause you thought she was coming to that night, right? Yeah, no, I had a feeling. I, I knew she was. Oh. Yeah, I just started not freaking out in a bad way, but there was so much stuff that I was putting off that she was trying to get done for like two months. Oh yeah. And yeah, <laughs> so I just just started seeing everything and I just, we needed to get it done. We started kind of just doing stuff um, like Drank that. Drank some just... raspberry leaf tea, <laughs> ate some dates. And then your contractions, how were you feeling though during the day after the was, midwife appointment? I was just a bit uncomfortable in a way where there was just a lot of pressure, but I didn't have any major contractions. It was just kind of Brax Braxton Hicks likes. What happened after? We got all the stuff done that we needed to get done. We cooked dinner. Yeah, it was a pretty normal day. So normal day. day, just got a little more stuff done. And then when did it start getting more serious when we were putting gravity to bed, kinda? Yeah, after we put her to bed, um, and you were just in the room with her. Mm -hmm. I like I went downstairs to do the dishes and just tidy up for the night so that we could go to bed. I started feeling more uncomfortable and had more like period cramp like contractions and my lower back started hurting a lot more again. So I was like, let me just do this really quick and then go to bed. And then after we just kind of hung out, 
Yeah. And then around 10, I started feeling more and more uncomfortable in a way where my back was hurting more. I was having more contractions. 45 minutes later, you were like, let's just time this and see, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, we started timing them. Lucky started timing them. Yeah. Because I was like, this is just another night of those fake contractions. I just don't want to get my hopes up. Yeah, but this started, you started feeling super uncomfortable way, way before. Yeah, that's Than true. the other nights that would, when that would happen. And I started timing them. Um, she took a bath, gave her a massage to kind of help her relax. <laughs> And they were, what did the midwife say? She said, call me if it gets If they're a minute. four minutes apart, a minute long, lasting for an hour. So that wasn't quite the case. Cause some but contractions- But it was almost there. It was almost like that. I know, but some contractions were like 38 seconds. Some of them were two minutes long. Yeah. Like it was just kind of all over the place. At some point I was like, this is getting really intense. I don't think this is just me having another night of contractions and they were getting more frequent and more intense really quick. So I was like, let me just call our midwife and check in. She was awake, it was like 12 p.m. Yeah. 12 p.m. or 12 a.m.? 12 a.m. She was really cute. She, because later on after we had the baby, um, we asked her when she thought it would happen and she's like, oh, I went to bed early. <laughs> I went to bed early because I knew you would call me. She just had a feeling as well. But yeah, we called her and she was just saying, okay, well, keep timing them, hang out at home. If it gets unbearable, like to the point where you need, think you need to come in, you can come in. I'm yeah. gonna start getting ready and heading over there and just like setting it up for us. I was kind of freaking out because I was like, what do we do with Grav? We can't just leave her here, but then I also don't want to take her because it's just gonna be a whole no, thing. No, that'd have been hectic. And then we called Daisy because Daisy is the only one that lives in California with mm -hmm. us. And she lives like an hour from my house. So I was like, let's no. just call Daisy now so that we can go in case it gets more intense because it yeah. kept getting more and more intense really and quick. More frequent. And more frequent. And then I started throwing up, like right before Daisy came. Started throwing up. Also, Daisy was an hour away. And then I was like, oh, I just started freaking out because I didn't really know whether we should go now or just, I don't even know what I thought. Shoot, I was you were just kind of out of it. You were kind of out of it a little bit. When I would time the contractions, I would ask her to, okay, tell me when one is happening. And at some point she just stopped telling me and then, but I could tell when she was having one. Cause so, it, it was just so painful that- Yeah, I can't imagine. I didn't really think. And then I kept throwing up. I was so tired cause the nights before I didn't sleep and then Graf got up. So it was just a whole thing and I didn't really nap during the day either. Cause I just couldn't for some reason. I was just exhausted and I was just so over it. And I didn't even, I was like, how am I gonna push a baby out if I'm feeling like this already? Yeah, Cause I could so barely tired. like stand up or like even before Daisy came, I just, all I did was lay on the bed and then you were like, let's get dressed. And I was like, oh no. From the time, we started timing them at like 10, maybe? 10.44. 10.44. And we left to the midwife at 1.30, I would say. I don't know. You don't know. So yeah, 1.30 around there. In my opinion, I don't, I don't really know, but it just seemed like it, it escalated super quickly. And so we called the midwife, said we were on the way, got in the car, and I <laughs> realized that we, our car said, had like 30 miles of gas left. So I was like, babe, you're not gonna like this, but we have to get, get gas. gas. <laughs> and you didn't really care, you were chill. I thought it was gonna be this whole annoying thing. And I just didn't have annoyed. the energy to be pissed. I yeah. Didn't. So we got gas, got gas. <laughs> the midwife was 20 minutes away in Ventura and we got there. What happened when we got there? She kind of took you, you went and laid on the bed. We kind of just got settled in. Also, we didn't need anything in our bags. Yeah, there's a, there's this whole list to, of all the stuff you should bring to either the hospital or the midwife or wherever. Like an extra outfit, a swimsuit in case you want to get in the bath or the shower. All this a labor stuff, a playlist. Labor playlist. <laughs> Her labor playlist was so, so weird. I thought it was going to be calm, like really relaxing <laughs> piano, just nice I music. Know, I know, I messed up. I, I made the playlist when... <laughs> I don't even know, but you like the Ed Sheeran songs. Yeah, those are cool. I know. I like you would know. listen to these songs on a run or a workout. I Which mean, if you want to do that and you want to feel empowered, like, like go for it. That's you, you know, I, I support it. But it was, it was really random. We, so we played that in the car. 
I was just kind of cracking up by myself and at some point you just like <laughs> turn the music off because you realized that it was annoying. <laughs> I was like, turn it off, yeah. turn it off. <laughs> I couldn't. So at the place we just settled in, chilled out, I called my mom and then what happened that we just, you just had more contractions more frequently. They were getting so intense to the point where I genuinely thought that I couldn't do it because I have always wanted to give birth naturally so we didn't even go to a hospital. We went to a birthing center where an epidural wasn't even an option unless we left that place to go to the hospital, which our midwife said, if we wanted to do and change our mind last minute, we could. But honestly, I was in so much pain, I couldn't even move around. So I was just like, let's do this. But then I asked her, I was like, do you have any pain medication? <laughs> and she was like, we have some Benadryl. <laughs> and I was like, no, let's not. Cause yeah. she was also, she said that that would make me sleepy and I was already past yeah. the point. The contractions just kept getting more and more intense. I'm so glad you were there. Lucky just kept holding me and kept saying it's all right. You were, just... you were the best birthing partner <laughs> ever. Thanks, I didn't think I was. Yes, you were. I thought I was just annoying her the whole time because no. I was just asking her what she needed. And the second Nara laid on the bed, she closed her eyes and I don't think she opened her eyes until the baby was here. <laughs> I'm not kidding. She barely <laughs> opened her eyes. She was just out of it, just in a lot of pain, which I understand. I, I don't even know what that's like, so. Mm. But my veins, like, they're so thin that she couldn't get it in right. And then it was like, in but not really and then with the next contraction because my water hadn't broke at this point all I had was the mucus plug thing that came out so my water still hadn't broke and then she was like let's just try to move around a bit sit on the toilet just to like let gravity do its thing we did that so uncomfortable on the way there had another contraction i think did i fall to the floor or did i just get on the floor i don't even know i think what it was I a did. mix of both you fell but got onto the floor the ivy ripped out of her <laughs> arm and it was just this it was this whole thing and then it sprayed everywhere i feel like yeah. or was it just me bleeding? i don't even know i don't know but um, my mom and sisters were there at that point. I would want to go get our bags from the car and stuff, and I'd, I'd wait for an uh, <laughs> um, I'd wait for a contraction to happen and be done with, and I'd tell her I'd be right back really quick. I felt so bad leaving her at any moment. And then I came back, and she was already having one, another one. Yeah. So it would just happen so fast. It was just back to back. At back this. to back. Our midwife said, let's just switch it up, get you in the bath. And I was like, fine, anything that could possibly make this a bit more bearable. But then also I was so hot every time I started contracting and then I got so cold after. And then at some point I just took off all my clothes. I was just over it. The only thing I was in was my nursing bra. And then I love how our midwife told us to pack a bikini or something for the bath. <laughs> So out of it, I didn't even, I don't even know how I got to the bath. I think Lucky just no, this, kind of this supported was, me. This is crazy. She, I was walking with her the whole way. She like got to the bath, just kind of jumped in <laughs> really in a risky way. I was in the bath for a minute maybe. And you were so over it. You were so it was irritated so with, hot. The, with, the, with the bath. You said, I need to get out. She, okay. Also, I thought our midwife wasn't in the room because I didn't open my eyes at all. She screamed her name so loud, so loud. Like she was, because you probably thought the baby was coming out right I thought... So she swings her legs over the edge of the bath with her whole body still. It was the most awkward, weird way to get out of the bath I just I've ever to seen. Get out, honey. I just and so to get I saw out. this and I grabbed her and like her arms had her hold my neck and I literally just lifted her out of the bath. You know when you try to lift a person when they're just like dead weight? Doesn't work, like you, you, <laughs> you, it's really hard to do that. And so I somehow lifted her out of the bath, got her to the bed and once we got to the bed, how long after, well, I don't know, did my water know. break before or oh, after yeah. the bath? Your water broke before the bath and it was the craziest thing I've ever seen. It was like in the movies when a water would break. I <laughs> I think in the, in the movies I thought it was always dramatic like, the water breaks like this huge thing, there's this huge puddle and people are freaking out. I didn't think it would be like that, but it was like that, okay? <laughs> it broke on the bed, sprayed everywhere. It got on the wall, like it was a lot of, a lot going on. So after that we got in the bath, then when after we, after the bath we got to the bed. I wanna say it was 30 to 45 minutes before the baby got here. I just kept asking Melissa, our midwife, I was yeah. like, how, how much longer do you yeah, think you were, this is gonna you were take? So like an dumb. hour? Yeah, <laughs> and the midwife did an exam to see 
how dilated she was. Then when she did that, she said, oh, the baby's right here. The baby's head's right here, so we're gonna have this baby right now. <laughs> and so you started- Your you mom start was there. I just remember she was holding my hand and then everyone was like, well, we're having this baby right now. The head is right there. Yeah. And then Lucky checked and he was like, oh yeah, it's right there. I could see it, it was crazy. And then I was like, I was freaking out. <laughs> And then she told me, okay, with your next contraction, I want you to push. And I pushed, it was the most excruciating pain ever. I just, with every contraction I pushed, but then at a certain point, our midwife was like, we need to have, cause um, her heartbeat was dropping, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. And then, but our midwife was so calm, but she told me, she was like, on the next contraction, we need to have this baby. And then this other midwife came and she was kind of... She was just more to the point, just serious, like, get yeah. this baby out. So um, they were like, on this next contraction, we need to have this baby. So the next contraction came and I pushed and then Melissa freaking put her fingers inside <laughs> me to stretch me out to get the baby out quicker. <laughs> It was so painful. I genuinely thought I couldn't do it. I was like, I can't do this, I can't do this. But then I felt how serious the situation was. She said that the baby's heartbeat was dropping and we just need to get it out. So I didn't really have a choice in a way where I couldn't. Yeah. So I just kind of Because they pushed. said usually you can let the baby sit where, where it's almost out to kind of like stretch it out a little bit, prevent a lot of tearing, I think. We needed to have the baby. And she was ready to, I don't know what it's called, but she was ready to cut some part of you so where it could come out easily. But um, I didn't want that yeah, at no. all. I just kind of mentally told myself, you just have to push through it because you don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. But on the one where she said, okay, we need to get this out right now, get, get the baby <laughs> get out right out. now, um, the baby got there. And the baby came out, it was so, it was, that whole experience was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Watching it, the baby come out of my... Watching everything about it. It was <laughs> you going through that, you being so strong and having a, a baby naturally. I was shocked. I was so proud of you. I was so... You started just, tearing up. It was, it was crazy. And so when the baby's head came out, the midwife was like, told me to catch... Because she asked me before if I wanted to catch her. And I said, yeah, I want to catch my baby coming out. Yes, I do. <laughs> so she told me to catch her. I caught her. And then I just like looked at her, it was so cute. And she started crying and then I put her on um, Nara's chest and it was it was just an, an I, I can't even explain the experience and how beautiful it was and how awesome. It probably wasn't so beautiful to you because you're going through so much pain. Honestly, but. I don't remember a lot of it because I was in so much pain and so out of it. So all the stuff that I, kind of forgot he told me after and also Starly and Piper were there and his mom and Starly took some pictures and Piper I think mm -hmm. as well. Yeah they got the whole the whole experience on it was pictures crazy and seeing it after. Yeah. I loved the midwife and doing it at a birthing center because they after you delivered the placenta um, okay. They just put it in a bowl with the cord still attached and yeah. the baby stayed with the cord attached on you with the like for, a long for time. an hour at least, um, which I disliked a lot. It was skin to skin for them to really connect and bond, and then they started breastfeeding. I was so proud of Rumble. She's, you guys got that down so quick. I know she latched immediately. In like three minutes, she. Got I just it. feel so blessed that we had the experience that we had because yeah. it was like a seven-hour labor, mm -hmm. from ten to five. She was born at. 5.30, 32, I think. I just feel really blessed that it all went so smoothly and mm -hmm. we just, it was really nice. She was six pounds heavy when she was born. Six pounds heavy. <laughs> How tall was she? 20, 20 inches? I wanna say either 20 or 22. No, 20. I think, yeah, 20. It was 20, 20. I think. Yeah, so after that, we just hung out. They did, you had tiny, tiny little tears. You were yeah, so, so stressed about that, which I understand. I know, I just didn't want to tear because the healing time would have been longer. I would yeah. have been in more pain. I just wanted this to be a really chill experience, like as chill as it could get, just because I want to deliver all of my kids naturally. And I think mm -hmm. if this would have been a really, really intense experience to the point where everything that could go wrong would have gone wrong mm -hmm. and it would have taken so long to get her out. I would have been more scared. Yeah, so I just that. wanted to do everything that I could. Um, but it was just two minor tears, some stitching, stitching mm -hmm. hurt. That hurt. After you gave birth, after I gave birth, 
I just want it to be done with all of it. Yeah, I get And then that. the other midwife kept pressing my stomach after too to get all the blood out. She was kind of hardcore. She was, she was a little intense. Yeah, but I'm glad that she just got everything that needed yeah. to be done done. That's literally her job, so. Yeah, true. And we left at... Nine, yeah. Nine-ish. One thing that was really good as well is we didn't have to stay there for a day or two. Yeah. We literally left four or five hours after giving birth to her. Yeah. And they just, I think they just needed to check a few, just a few things and then send you off. So then we took her home. And just and snapped. Yeah, not all we literally, the best we just, snap <laughs> ever. Woo! We just crashed oh, after. Because we were up the entire night and the nights before I was up, so mm -hmm. we just caught up on some sleep. Yeah, that's what happened. That's the whole that's birthing the story. story. Did we forget anything? Probably. Probably. I don't know. But we got the main parts of it. So yeah, now we're just trying to adjust to life with a newborn. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're pregnant or going to be pregnant in the future, I really honestly recommend a midwife. From yeah. our experience, it was amazing. I. I'm so I would glad never, we did that. that's what I would do for the, all of our other kids that we're gonna have, you know? Yeah, definitely. Because we were with a doctor before and we transitioned to midwife when? Like 32 weeks? Yeah, around there. Yeah, so we transitioned after that because with the doctor, it was just first off the drive, the doctor wasn't engaging in any way. It was, it just yeah, it didn't kind feel of. personal. It just felt really short and dry and just not. Not a fun experience. Yeah, and then I was just nervous giving birth because I didn't feel comfortable around the doctor because mm -hmm. it just felt like we were another patient and if something went wrong, it just went wrong and she wouldn't really care that much. Yeah. Um, but with our midwife, we what? met with her What's and- What's our midwife's thing called? I think it's Grow Midwifery. Yeah, Grow Midwifery in Ventura. So if you're having a baby in Ventura, I really, really recommend her. Her name's Melissa. She's the absolute best. Makes me tear up, kind of. Yeah, after after the baby, she'll so you have two home, you have two or three visits after, but the first two, are, she comes to your house. It's so nice. It was so chill because my body was literally so tired after I could not. Like yeah. the first day was fine because yeah. we went to the pediatrician, but then the second day, I just noticed that mm. it was just the adrenaline that made me <laughs> yeah. made me be able to go. But yeah, so that's the story. That's the story, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry it took a while to upload this, but we had this little munchkin to take care of. Yeah. Do you want to say anything? No. Else? Bye. <laughs> <laughs>